my friends are since. Many years ago when I first started making videos for this channel, I came across Simon the Magpie. At that point, me and Simon were clearly interested in lots of the same kinds of things. We were both experimenting with the kind of oddball side of electronic music, modifying guitar pedals, playing about with Game Boys and all that kind of thing, which wasn't all that common at that point. And so we quickly got speaking to each other, we would regularly talk on Instagram, and it was really nice to see someone else going through a similar kind of creative journey. Now, as time went on, I decided that I was no longer making videos. I kind of got bored of the process. It was much harder back then to make things look good, technically speaking, than it is now with our modern kind of accessible autofocus zoom cameras and all that crap. But also, I found that I was spending a lot more time making videos than I was making music, which was really what I was interested in. Of course, Simon continued to make videos, and with time, he scaled up what he was doing. So his experiments went from kind of guitar pedals into really outlandish projects that no sane person would really ever attempt on their own. And this has all paid off for him because he now has something like 155,000 subscribers on his channel. And obviously, I don't feel bitter about that in the slightest. Anyway, recently Simon got in touch with me because he has started a new podcast called Almost Viral, where he speaks to people who do this kind of thing, people that make stuff and share it online and talk about it, because really it is a bit of a weird thing to do. And so I am the guest in his latest episode of the podcast. You can find it on all the usual podcast type places like Spotify or I don't know, Apple Music. I don't really know where you find podcasts apart from Spotify. But if you're interested in hearing me and Simon the Magpie talk about making stuff online, or even if you're interested in hearing other people talk to Simon the Magpie, um, he's had some interesting guests already, like Jeremy from Red Meets Recording. Uh, I would definitely recommend going and listening to it. Now, in order to promote and commemorate this momentous occasion, I decided to put together a bit of a tribute to Simon the Magpie. And in doing so, I've put together a bit of music, taking clips and um, samples from various videos that he has released. I have been inspired by some of his experiments. And so in the upcoming music that you're about to witness or watch, hopefully, you'll find clips of Simon saying things, you'll find noises from a keyboard cat that sprung him to fame. You'll also find kind of squeaky pig noises and a variety of other things that if you're a fan of Simon the Magpie, then you will already recognize, hopefully. And if you're not a fan of Simon the Magpie or if you haven't seen this channel before, then I definitely recommend going to check it out because it's filled with some of the weirdest, most wonderful, interesting things in this kind of section of electronic music YouTube that you're likely to find. So with that, I hope you enjoy this music. Um, Simon, if you do watch this, then I, I just have to deeply, deeply apologize for what's about to happen. Are 
All my friends are soon. 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 Anyways, we're gonna play with knives. I'll make by. I'm also drunk now. I'll make by. I'll make by. I'm also drunk now. I'll make by. I'll make by. I'm also drunk now. I'll make by. I had a tiny bit of an accident. Ah.